Hey everyone, my name is Yuri and we are here. This is going to be number six, I believe, of the ICBA and we are up against Matt O'Shea and he is an incredibly scary battler. We are both four and one at the moment, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, honestly, I think this matchup is really bad for us. I think uh, it's going to be a huge, huge uphill battle for us uh, to win this matchup, but uh, we're going to do whatever the heck we can. Uh, let's see, we do see a Lycanroc, Salamence, uh, Sylveon, Greninja, Salazzle, and uh, Mega Galead. So, a lot of things that I would have expected, but let's see. Did not bring in the Zapdos, which is actually pretty huge. No Dawn Fan, which is uh, pretty huge. No Clink Clang, that's interesting. Um, and no Lantern, which I was also concerned about. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think... I think... Uh, I don't know. Part of me wants to just lead off with the Lander is here. I'm sorry, Thunder is here. Thunderous, I feel like, makes sense here. Would he be likely to lead off with the Lycanroc? I'm curious. Alright, did not mean to do that. Um, how likely would he be to lead off with the Lycanroc? Probably not likely. I think I can do it. And even if he does, I have the pivots. I'm going to go for it. Let's see whatever we can do. But uh, yeah, no Zapdos is pretty huge. I thought, if anything, he would expect the Alamomola to come and want to be super defensive. But um, I don't know. I don't know. What it, his best answer to the Alamomola would then default to the Sylveon. Which, I mean, Sylveon handles it pretty darn well. Um, Salazzle, okay. Also decently well. But uh, it does lead off with the Greninja. Now, this is pretty bad because I probably don't take anything here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't take any, uh, any type of Ice Beam or anything like that. Okay. So, I think I'll just go into the Ferrothorn, but... Honestly, I would not be surprised even a little bit if he just goes for the U-turn here. U-turn is such an easy play for him in this situation, I think. Um, he could just go straight for the Ice Beam. I'm not too, too sure. I'm not too, too sure. Yeah, U-turn was pretty easy for him. Uh, there's the Protein. But, um, it will allow in the Salazzle. And then, I mean, from there, I mean, I have no other play but to go into the Swampert. And he can absolutely pack the Hidden Power Grass, which would be super unfortunate. But um, at that point, at that point, I just have to try and deal with it. As obvious as this play is about to be... Honestly, the the Swamper doesn't even do much other than kind of deal with the Salazzle. So here's where we try to uh, gauge out and see whether or not this thing does have the Hidden Power Grass. If he predicts it straight up, then that would be not great. But it goes for the Toxic. Okay, I think that's fair. But um, Dual Stab plus Toxic. And actually, we should, we should probably take a... We probably should take a, a Hidden Power Grass here. Slazzle. Yeah, we super take a take a Hidden Power Grass. I think we're reasonably free to fire off an EQ. No, we just get a Brox here. Goes for a sub. Okay. Okay. I mean, his only removal is Salazzle, I'm pretty positive. But regardless, I just get an EQ off. I don't think there's any real reason not to. Um, Protect, okay. Okay. I mean, that's definitely fair, I guess. But I'm going to have to go for an EQ and then... 
and then uh, probably switch out into the Ferrothorn. I think Ferrothorn is expendable. I mean, he's definitely trying to put my Swamper in low enough where disable. Uh, okay. Okay. So it only has a fire move on it, which is interesting. Its only move is a fire move. I still don't quite know what that does here. Um... Yeah, Fire Blast doesn't even do a whole heck of a lot to Alamomola here. I mean, I don't know. This Salazzo can beat me for sure, I think. But... Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I think I just have to eat up the Toxic and click Scald here. He could Protect. Yeah, he could just go for the Toxic. But now he could for sure go for, um... He could for sure go for Disable right now. But he probably just sets up another sub, in all honesty. And I think I just have to double out here. And attempt to go into my top of Lele? I don't really know what else to do here. <laughs> this is such an interesting position to be in. I can get 6-0'd by the Salazzle alone. I guess. Does go for a sub. I mean, I think I just have to go back in, into the Alamomola here. Um, hmm. I'm not even particularly sure what to do here. I mean, I'm going to click Scald. Okay. So, he's going to probably click Disable. I have to click Wish here. And if I can get a Wish back onto my Swamper, get my Swamper back up healthy, then I think I can do it with a combination of, of Scald and Earthquake. Because if he disables... If he disables Scald, then I can freely Earthquake. And I think that's my way out of this? I don't know. I honestly do not know. I guess I just have to try and figure this thing out. But uh, this was very, very far from what I expected. I assumed he would have to make this thing... Um, pretty darn offensive to kind of manage my Lele. Or my Ferrothorn, right? This is his real best answer to my Ferrothorn, I think. But realistically, he probably hasn't enough answers to my Ferrothorn, right? So, Lycanroc can have Fire Fang. Salamence can have Flamethrower. Um, the Sylveon can have Hidden Power Fire. Gallade can destroy me. And... I don't know. Greninja potentially has low kick. I don't know. That's, that's doubtful. I, th I feel like that's doubtful. U turn, probably dual stab. We'll do it regulars. I don't know. Okay. So he's going to protect on my scald, and I have to not care. This is. I don't know. 
I barely even know what to think. I, I think I have to assume this thing is max HP, but I don't even think that really matters too much. I have to let him disable my Scald and then go for Earthquake. I'm so confused by this entire interaction. I mean, no, I get it. I get it. I just... But I also don't get it. This is so wild to me. This is one of the last things I would have expected. But... I don't know. I just have to click Scald. I don't know what to do. Does the seal my Scald. But now he can't disable my Earthquake. Uh, although he's gonna protect. Oh man, he's gonna protect. He's gonna protect right now, which means I have to go back into my Alamomola and wish back into my... into my... into my Swampert in order to ever attempt to win this matchup. Um, is it ever possible for my Thunderous to beat this set? Oh, I do have Prankster Thunder Wave on my Thunderous. So that's a potential saving grace. Although, I feel like I do need Thunderous for the overall shape of this matchup. Although, man, I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm doing in this situation. I'm already 10 minutes into this matchup. Um, and yeah, I really don't have many options here. Although, if you were to click Disable on my Wish, that'd probably be best case scenario. Wow, that, that was a struggle to get out of my mouth. If he disables my Wish, goes for the Protect, okay, that's fine. But now I can Scald. And now I can Scald and at least break the sub. And... Yeah, I don't think you can disable two moves at the same time. So I can just continue to click Scald. And he can... He can Protect Stall me. So what is so where does that get me? I guess I just have to do whatever I can do here. <laughs> I don't know, man. So now, now I feel like he has to click Disable. Now because I believe the Disable is going to end on um, Wish, so I believe now he's in a position where he can Disable um, Scald here. Nope, this is the last turn of Disable. Yeah, I have to go back into, um, I have to go back into this thing. He's going to protect right now. So maybe that means I go back into Alamomola. Ooh, he switches out. Goes out into this thing.
Interesting, 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 interesting. But I probably have to switch back out. I think... I think just in case he... Goes for a sword stance, I think I feel like I have to Toxic here. Let's see. What's a regular ass Meg Glade doing to me? Um, it looks like max attack. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna attempt a toxic here. I guess we'll see where that gets us. I guess we just have to see wherever that gets us, man. Bulk up. Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. But now... Now, I think... I mean, I could potentially give up my... Ferrothorn at this point, right? I can also hard switch into... Lele? No, I think I go into... Ferrothorn here. Uh... I don't know, man. This... This is pretty rough. I think he was trying to catch me overextending, but I think I played that Salazzo carefully enough where um, I didn't quite overextend, although I still put myself in not the best position here. We'll go for the Drain Punch, which is a straight up Oko. But that's totally fine because it does allow in my... my... Uh, Lele. Does allow my Lele, and uh, I will have to deal with the Salazzle. But if there's any chance that I can two hit KO the Salazzle from where it is, then man, do I have to take that. No, I think I have to try to take the damage on Thunderous. Um. No, it looks like Thunderous is a roll here. Yeah, I think I have to go into Lele here. And, I don't know, man. If I click Psychic, would that do it? Oh, Psychic should KO, actually. Uh, he could freely go into Greninja at that point. Which honestly makes me want Nature's Madness here. <laughs> um, what would Greninja allow him to do? I think I just click Psychic. Let's see. Oof. Is he giving me this, this Glade? Okay. Okay. I feel like we take one. No, it's at plus one. Yep. We should have we should have just clicked Moonblast, man. We should have just clicked Moonblast. I think... At this point, we just lose to the Greninja. Uh, goes into... This. Huh. I 
I think I just try to get some Thunderbolts off at this point. We'll see how much damage we're able to do. This is a um, max attack timid life orb. I'm not terribly confident about how much damage we're doing, but uh, like I said, this was always going to be one of the worst matchups of this season, probably. And uh, we just have to kind of deal with it. I feel like now it might even be worth clicking U-turn. Is it, though? Probably not. I just click, click Thunderbolt again. Yeah, I definitely just clicked Thunderbolt. I think we take out. I have to hope that we take out, but uh, we might not. And it's just going to have to be how it goes. Um... If we don't, then that would, like, obviously be bad, but there's really no alternative here. If this Sylveon can go down, then that would be huge. That would honestly be huge. Um, at that point, all I do... At that point, if I can just wait out the... If I can wait out the... Psychic Terrain... Then Mammoth Swine has an interesting time, as long as I can manage the Greninja. But the Greninja is going to be pretty rough to try to manage. Mm. Man, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I mean, like I said, this was going to be a, an atrociously bad matchup, and he brought a Salazzle set that I really, truly had no way of expecting. I wish I could see how many turns are left of, um, are left of Psychic Terrain. Uh, now I can, but, uh, this is the second to last turn of Psychic Terrain. And yeah, I can just high go Crash. Um, hmm. Hmm. Greninja has to come in. And I can go into... I can give up the Galamola at that point, right? I don't think Galamola really does a whole heck of a lot for me anymore. Um, If Galamola can do anything for me... I don't know, it would be nice against a Lycanroc, but then he can play around me pretty easily now that I'm toxic. Swampert is probably the better Mon to give up here. I mean, if anything, he probably just clicks U-turn here. He probably just clicks U-turn, because he knows that... He knows how essential my Mammoth Swine is to really, like, make any headway here. Goes for a Z fighting. Okay, okay. I mean, there's really nothing I was going to be able to do anyway, so uh, as good as any. So, what, Z low kick, I, I imagine? I don't know. Regardless, I just have to attempt... Um, hmm. Maybe it is worth switching into into Swamper just for the Regenerator. Goes for the Taunt. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. So Taunt, Low Kick, U Turn. It might just be like Mono Skull for like real attacking moves. But I can just go for an Earthquake here, I think. It's gonna U-turn. I mean... 
would he U-turn? Yeah, he just probably he, he just U-turns into into Salamence. He knows that Earthquake is my best way to hit this thing. Salamence is his best play. Then I go into Alamola. He Dragon Dances. Although I don't know, maybe he doesn't Dragon Dance because I can Ice Shard. Although I think Matt's smart enough where he he would know that I would like play these Matt, these games around, and he might um he might be packing sub on Salamence specifically for that reason. But his only options to U-turn into Salamence is, is his only option to U-turn into that doesn't get KO'd, and I think he knows that I don't have anything. I mean, he's he's already seen Scald. He hasn't seen Ice Beam, right? But he's seen Scald, Stealth Rock. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, that's interesting. That's an interesting give up right there. But, I don't know, that potentially allows in, what does that allow in? It just, I mean, if anything, it probably just lets back in the Greninja, which can now scald me after taking uh, the amount of damage that I already did. I mean, I don't know, I probably never take a, I probably I don't know, maybe he had to pack the Z low kick because regular low kick never quite o code Mamoswine. Interesting, my Mamoswine should should almost always take a low kick. Um, although I don't take a Hydro Pump, which, uh, well, this is also a, oh no, this is Hasty Nature. Okay, so this is this is a Neutral Nature low kick in the, in the standard calc. Um, but what about a Scald? I maybe take a Scald. Okay, I'd actually... No, this thing has no reason to... This thing has no reason to ever Dragon Dance because of my Amos Vine, right? It yeah, just goes for the Dragon Claw. I don't really think we have any chance of taking it unless he's super duper defensive, but... um, Now my Amos Vine comes in... <laughs> he's Moxie, okay. Uh, this thing could honestly be Yachi Berry. This thing could honestly be Yachi Berry. Uh, Dragon Claw. Um, yeah, I, I would not be surprised at all if this thing is Yachi. Uh, where is... Alamola? Alamola should take a plus one Dragon Claw. And, I mean, realistically, I need I need it for the, uh... Hmm. I don't know. I really need Mammoth Swine to come through. If In case this thing is Yashi, which it almost definitely is, I think. Uh, it's not Yachi, so this should always KO. It does. So, we brought Differential down, at least. I don't know. Greninja comes in. We should take one Scald. We should take one hit. If, it, if, it, if it's just Scald... If it's just Scald and... If it's just Scald and Low Kick, we should take one hit. Although, he could be U-turning. A U-turn would ensure is Scald. So maybe this means... I mean, I, I, I really feel like I have nothing to lose here anymore. So I might... He, he could be U-turning to ensure the low kick roll. Oh, just go straight up for the low kick. That's a crit. Antiques Rocky Helmet. Maybe a double back. I 
Maybe I just get a wish off. Maybe I just get a wish off. I'm gonna click wish. Toxic spikes. Okay. That is interesting. So, um, he doesn't have any great ways of hitting my Mammoth Swine. But I will get the wish up. I will get the wish up. And I think my best play is honestly to go back into the Mammoth Swine. I think his best play would be to get up a second layer of Toxic Spikes. Although, no, maybe I should just click Scald here. Because his moveset is low kick U-turn. Low kick U-turn. Toxic Spikes. And some other move that I'm pretty positive that, that I already saw. I'm just going to click Scald. Does go for the U-turn. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, he definitely thought that I was going to switch, I think. Now, do I get my wish before the Toxic Bobs? Because he has to go into Lycanroc now, and Lycanroc is going to take a decent amount of damage. So this is wild. Because now... Do I get my wish back? We get the burn, too. I do get my wish back. I don't think this thing has any real way of hitting my... My Alamola. I don't think he has any way of hitting my Alamola. That's wild, man. I think I just leave in my Alamola until it goes down. Maybe Wish is worth it? Is Wish ever worth it? Oh my god. I am blown away by what's happening. I don't think Wish is ever worth it. I'm just going to click Scald. Goes for the Stone Edge. I think we take it. Yeah. And it's going to depend. If Ice Shard can take out... No, because I think we always take a low kick, right? No, I don't think I can risk it. I don't think I can risk it. Because I don't know how defensively invested this thing is. Or how offensively invested this thing is. Oh my god. Greninja. We've seen Toxic Spikes. U-Turn. Low Kick. And Taunt! Taunt was the other move. Taunt was the final move. So this thing could honestly be like max each or max um max attack low kick. In which case he always KOs me. Wait, if this is a no bulk or ninja, then Ice Shard KO Ice Shard potentially KOs. I think I just have to go for it. Okay, so I just spent uh, some time talking it over with Matt O'Shea, and by the looks of it, a max attack Adamant Mammoth Swine with Icicle Plate should have always picked up a KO on the Greninja. He said that his Greninja was at 29 points of HP, and uh, Mammoth Swine did 31 minimum with Ice Shard in that moment. So I think I always pick up that KO, and uh, that would have won us the match if we didn't DC. It was a wild wild match and i thought i lost it at least like two to three times uh we did end up with a win that will put us at five and one and uh we're going to be in a very good position from here on out uh i'm blown away by the way that match went but uh that's gonna be it for me thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back really really soon with more weeks of the icba a league war that the pgbl is taking part in and hopefully a season of the pgbl coming up really really soon but with that thank you guys so much for watching once again out